Hello dear student, this is Devang Shah from LG Institute of Engineering and Technology under the LG University. Now, so far we learn about the digital logic design. So, from the first point or from the beginning, we learn about the numbering system, conversion of numbering system, logic gates, Boolean algebra and the universal gates named and known. Now based on that, further we learn a different kind of practices or we learn a different kind of methods. For that I have to analyze, I have to define some of the important parameters. Those are related with the combinations of 1 and 0. So here, our first point is to define some of the terms in a Boolean algebra, in a digital electronic, those terms are defined like mean term and max term. So some of the parameters is like there are two ways in which we can put the Boolean functions. So this way are like mean terms and max terms. So what is a mean term? So mean terms is nothing but the product of all literals either with the complement or without complement form is known as the mean term. So I can put the mean term in form of end gate, in form of OR gate, in form of NOT gate. So in a way I can use here addition sign, let's say A plus B, I can use the sign of OR, I can use the sign of NOT, right? But mean terms are always represents in form of end and NOT, end. The second stage representation in form of OR. So we will see the, uh, mean term as well as the next one is the max term. Now what is max term? The sum of all literals either with complement or with without complement is known as the uh, max term. So here mean term and max term both are the way of representation is different. Right. So here in a max term first we use the combination of OR and NOT and then we the second stage we use the end gate right so you know thinking about what are the literals see in in a way literals are like a variable see if i am going to take a b c right or let's see if i am going to take a so a is a variable and literals are two like a and a bar so from a you can be able to get a or a bar same way for b you can be able to get b or b bar so b is called the variable and b and b bar both we can consider as a literals right so here if you have a combination of a and b right so total four literals you are going to get you have a combination of a b c you have a eight literals you are going to get it so here from this literals you can see the literal signifies the boolean variables including their com complements right so like a is a variable and a and a bar is like literals so such as b is the boolean variable and it's complements is b bar or b which are called the linear so from the following boolean function like x y plus x into z dash so here there are four literals like x y x and z dash these are the four literals so here from that we can be able to now signify what are the mean terms and what are the maximums so now in basic way we always consider there is a 3-bit system, right? 3-bit system, what does it mean exactly? 3-bit system is like you have a A, B, C, three variables. Or in some of the book, it is written X, Y, Z. Some of the book, it is written P, Q, R, like that way. But it's basically, it's a 3-bit system. If any, any system having the 3-bit, that means the range is from 0 to 7, right? So the minimum bits is like 0, 0, 0. And the maximum bits is like 1, 1, 1, right? So here my job is to convert row number from 0 to 7 since it is a 3 bit digital system. So my variables are A, B, C, right? So from that I can be able to get mean term and max term, right? So mean term, always remember the output of mean term is always, always equal to 1. And the output of max term is always and always equal to 0, right? So in a way you can say the mean term is nothing but the complement of the max term and max term is nothing but the complement of mean term, right? So from that you can see the mean terms is always defined like first is sequence is ABC is 0, 0, 0. 
so i can define the mean terms at a dash into b dash into c dash so the what's the final answer a dash into b dash into c dash since a b c is 0 0 0 so answer must be 1 right so always remember the answer of mean term is always must be 1 likewise the you can see the row number 1 where the variables a b c is 0 0 1 so a in a part of the mean terms you have a sequence of a dash into b dash into c so that means the output must be 1 right same way row is 2 so 0 1 0 so it's a dash b into c dash same way 3 is 0 1 1 so it's a, a dash into b into c likewise from 5 to 7 you can check all the mean terms as like a into b dash into c dash a into b dash into c a into b into c dash and last one is a b c since it is a 1 1 1 answer is 1 right so these are the mean terms so and then here you have from that max you can now see max term the answer must be equal to sum of product right s o p so you have already your you sequence of all zero, 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 zero. terms so of once you sum of product the max term is a plus terms. b plus so in c in a canonical case of you can see yes. the so uh, mean term Titan is identified as so small n f and max a, terms B, are defined as capital n these are the variables so you can follow the sequence from row all number the mean terms one to like seven and you can check all the max terms plus like a dash plus b plus c, c and up to a, b, a plus so b dash plus this c s a p plus the sum plus of products so you can see a dash all plus the sum b plus of products of a b and c a dash plus b dash plus c small m form is like plus 0 plus m1 plus y because a b c 1 1 1 and the answer of next this form is also defined as the sop form or canonical form and finally you can use the sign of sigma into small m 0 1 2 3 up to 7 right so this form we can define as a sop which is called sum of products likewise if you say the product of sum, so this is nothing but the representation of all terms in, in a way of max term, right? So this is a or and end. So first stage is or not, it's a combination of or and not, and then second stage is an end where you can see it's a product term sum. So you have a products of bracket and inside you have a sum. So from max terms, if you do the products like f of a b and c you have a a plus b plus c then another bracket you have a, a plus b plus c dash and so on up to a dash plus b dash plus c dash that is represented by capital m and all capital m's are in a product with each other so which is m0 into m1 into m2 and up to m7 you can see the kind of sign of this f of a b c in a terms of the max which is in a terms of the bos is like pi m in bracket 0 1 2 3 up to 7 right so now uh, you from this particular slide is very important fundamental slide where uh, you can understand what are the mean terms what are the max terms how you can represent mean terms in form of sop how you can represent the max term in form of pos that also includes the kind of canonical forms right so this slide is a very very important to understand in terms of the max term and mean term now further if you uh, see this uh, uh, way of representation of like f of a b c i have only selected the few mean terms as, and the uh, and the boolean function is in that form like a dash into b into c plus a into b dash into c dash plus a into b dash into c plus a into b into c dash plus a b c right so the way of representation of this particular uh, mean terms in form of the small m and finally you have a f of a b c is equal to sigma m 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, what does it mean? So, here the mean terms of 0, 1, 2 which is missing, 0, 1, 2 missing that means all mean terms are not available. So, it is multiplied with the 0. Rest of the mean terms are available like 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, all are having the value of 1. So, you can multiply by like 1, right? So, here mean terms represent in F corresponds with the 1s of F in a truth table. Now, this is the same case for the max term where it is nothing but the POS system where you have given the Boolean function is that A plus B plus C dot in bracket A plus B plus C dash dot in bracket A into B dash plus C. Now, you can check all are in form of capital M where you have M0, M1 and M2. So, what are the missing terms is like 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 that means all are having the value of 0 here 
the corresponding zeros or you can represent like pi of m in 0 1 and 2 so all max terms represents in f corresponds with the zero in f of the two table right so what does it mean exactly if you want to convert mean term into max term and max term into mean term so in the second example you can see all 0 1 2 all max terms are having the value of 0 so rest of the terms like 3 4 5 6 and 7 are having the value of 1 right so if you want to convert mix max term into mean term or mean term into max term you have to just take the complement of each other so what are the missing terms you have to consider is a here in a second example or uh, see the max terms are 0 1 2 so mean terms are 3 4 5 6 and 7 right so this is what uh, example number one and example number two here is nothing but the complement of each other right so based on that again we define and if we want to convert mean term expression of f of a b c that is equal to m 3 4 5 6 and 7 what are the max terms so it is just the complement of each other so whatever missing terms in a mean terms that you have to represent in a max terms but this is mean term always in a sop form and max terms are always in a pos form right so now you got the uh, proper idea about this from the table you get learn mean term max term in form of sop sum of product or canonical form in form of pos product of sum in a canonical form those missing terms in a mean term are always represented as a max term because those values are zero those are represented in a max terms so the rest of the terms are represented as a mean term because all the values are having one right so both are complement of each other by that way now here you can un understand from f of a b c that is in term of m3 plus m4 plus m5 plus m6 plus m7 the complement of this is always uh, in that form right now uh, see from this particular example what you can see the example one is nothing but the implement the functional given in the below uh, using the sop of f of a b c is equal to mean term a b c plus b e f right from that see you can implement this particular function using the logic gates where two end gates and one or gate right so you can form you can uh, define this particular boolean function into a kind of logic gates and again same implementation of uh, boolean function if you want to represent in form of sop is is given f of f of a b c d g e f g h up to like a b plus c d plus e f into g h and you can implement like this way right so how you can implement of sop form is always a kind of mean terms right same way if you want to again implement this particular function into sop form is like f of a into b bar into c plus a bar into b into c plus a bar into b bar into c that form is called sop form so all the terms are the mean terms and you can define all those terms are by making this particular digital circuit like a b c a and here a and b are having the complement function a bar into b bar so i am going to take two not gates as well as three end gates as such this is a sop form and the second stage where we define as a or gate right so by that way you can implement the sop form in a digital circuit way same way you can implement this particular pos now this is a product of some form max term so here the first stage combination is not n or and that second stage is the end so here you can see the not gate are being used or gate are being used and finally the product can be achieved using the end gate so this is what how you can represent or how you can draw any digital circuit into a kind of this pos form or max terms right so dear yes, students thank you very much here you can be able to learn the uh, uh, what are the mean terms what are the max terms how you can represent mean terms and max term and how you can design the digital circuit using those mean terms and max term using the sop and pos form using the canonical form thank you very much thanks